this hint and tip, we are going through a query we had from someone who attended our Intermediate Excel course. During the course, we cover the creation of charts. And the question we had was that this particular individual had some data where there were some empty cells in it, similar to this, but there was many more columns with other information in it. The query was they wanted to create a chart, but they didn't want to see these extra hidden rows. They wanted to remove them or hide them from view. Now at the moment they were having to individually hide them in twos. They had many more rows in this so it was taking them a long time. And so the query was, is there a quick way of being able to hide rows in your data where there were empty cells or in a particular column? So this was the solution that we sent to them. First of all, select the column where the empty cells are. Click on the Find and Select button, which is found on your Home tab, and click the Go To Special option. From here, select the Blanks option, click OK, and you can see it has now selected all the blank cells in the columns that you selected. We're now going to hide the rows that these blank cells are in. To do so, we're going to use a shortcut. This shortcut is holding down the control key and then the number nine key at the top of your keyboard. So pressing control and nine, you can see it has now hidden those, those rows with those empty cells in that B column, just leaving the data that you can see on the screen. So we send this example over to them. This was the hidden spreadsheet, as you can see. And then from there, we can see you can create your chart. So this hint and tip really was just to show you a quick way in which you can hide rows from a spreadsheet that had empty cells in it in a particular column. This was exactly what the person wanted and they thanked us greatly. And so we hope that this might help you in a way if you ever need to select a number of rows and hide them where there are empty cells in them in a particular column. Thank you very much and I hope you enjoyed this.